Running the most important concours in the world is a huge responsibility. But the way that I enjoy cars might be a bit different than having a car at a concours. I love art and I love sculpture, but I don't collect cars to be a sculpture. I mean, the whole idea is to get out there and enjoy them and run and the way they smell, the rumble, the way they feel. That's what a car is all about. There's so much that's fantastic about cars, but initially, I would say as a 15-year-old, the whole idea is freedom. The magic of just getting in and going and, and ending up wherever you wanted to be. There is something different about the relationship with the car. It's more than a machine that does a job. Being the chairman of the Pebble Beach Concours, I often get asked, well, what do you do the rest of the year? It makes me chuckle because I don't realize that some components of the event are planned out years and years in advance. When we started planning for 2019 and the Bentley Centennial, those conversations had started almost 10 years prior. And if you can imagine our entrance, when they locate a fantastic car, they purchase it, they do the research, they start the restoration, it isn't a 12-month process either. So everything that comes together is a passionate reflection of all the years that people have put into coming to Pebble. The first thing that happens on Concourse Sunday is I go down to the water's edge, where we have the entry point where all of the cars come onto the field. It's one of the most magical moments of the whole day. You get to see the cars under their own power for the first time coming onto the field. Usually the entrants are in the cars, they're dressed up, they have their family with them. Every time a new car comes around the corner, I'm just like, wow. I can see the show coming together. We lay claim to some of the most fabled golf holes in the world. And for one day out of 365, Pebble Beach isn't about golf. And I see acres of green felt. And I just imagine the jewels of the cars that we have for the Pebble Beach Concord placed out there. And I do actually think the golf guys enjoy that for that, that one day. It's been very interesting since Sandra and I have been married uh, about 17 years. And I've been intimately involved with the Concord uh, during that time. We bring in about 200, 220 cars to Pebble Beach every year. It's a big group effort, even outside the team that I have here. We have over 200 judges that come, and they all pay their own way, and they have their expertise. And on top of that, we have 1,200 volunteers that work that week. Some of our volunteers take their vacation, and they travel from across the country because they want to be near the cars. They love the event. I get to announce first, second, and third of the classes, and I see the great cars, and I, I know most of the owners. So for me, it's a very emotional time, having worked a whole year to get these cars to be accepted. We get about 1,000 entries for 200 cars on the field, so four out of five get declined. And then to see these, the best of the best, on the field and coming over the awards ramp is very heartwarming. And then to see the best of show, it's hard not to cry. It's fun to watch people enjoy great cars in all sorts of places in the world. And I will say, it doesn't matter where you are, the want to kick tires and talk cars and you know, you open the bonnet and everybody's head's in there, that happens all over the world. You know, that's like the one thing that is the glue that pulls it together. I didn't grow up in a car family. My dad's a rocket scientist. My mom was a homemaker, but she was always very active in the garden club. So I grew up with plant names coming off the tip of my tongue. And cars and everything to do with cars have been more of a learned language, whereas plants and gardening were basically like my mother tongue. I think for any passion in life, the closer you get to it, the better. It's not as interesting from a distance. It's important to let anyone come into the hobby. You know, I don't care how people enjoy their cars. Just have a passion for them, enjoy driving them, participate as much as we can do to, to include as many people as possible into the joys of great old cars. <laughs>